Hello and welcome. This is Joseph Carcare with Belimo Air Controls, product manager for the Butterfly line here. Today we're going to give an overview of the Butterfly Valve product line and why we feel it is one of the most comprehensive Butterfly Valve offerings for the HVAC market and its applications. What we see in the Butterfly Valve industry today is that many of them were designed for the industrial market. And with that being said, they were quite limited at the time as far as their offerings, maybe their installation style or ease of installation, the energy that they used, um, their actuator choices, of course, delivery, cost, how they would run, how frequently they would run, or how they would hold the water back, or even leaking over time. All of these things were different considerations as we built up the butterfly line here at Belimo and why we really feel it's different and sets us apart. The agenda will be some parts and pieces and definition, applications, our butterfly range, of course, with nomenclature, a little bit about control and flow curves, some of the features and specs, We'll talk a little bit about our actuator ranges and of course highlighting the PR, our newest butterfly actuator. Some resources we have, a little bit about our service and delivery, and of course the value we feel we, we bring to the market as far as in general, but also for butterfly valves. So by definition, a butterfly valve is a valve with a mechanism that regulates flow of materials with in large pipe diameters by the quarter turn rotation of a disc. And you can see over here in the picture in the far right, you have media coming along in this large pipe. It hits this disc and it can go on either side and pass through. Essentially, why do they call it a butterfly valve? Well, basically like it's its shape. It somewhat mimics the motion of similar to a butterfly valve or a butterfly where the wings move up and down in a 90 degree rotation. And traditionally they're used for, to regulate flow, stop or slow the media on, let's say a large scale pipes, large flow, large pipes, large valves. That's how I like to think of it. They're usually a little bit smaller and less expensive compared to some of the other valves in the marketplace that also are for high flow. If we look at closer a little bit as far as the parts and pieces, what makes up a butterfly valve this way as we're talking throughout the presentation or you're speaking the tech support you can be on the same page and talk the same lingo uh, the outside casting which is basically referred to as the body you can see here this cutaway of course you have your stem or shaft which is attached to the disc and then the disc rides in and out of this rubber seat so when we talk about Resilient seat or different seated butterflies. That's what we're referring to this rubber seat and the disc basically goes in and out of the seat And that's what holds the media back and gives that bubble tight shut off When we talk about things like the shaft and what materials it's made out of we're referring to this piece here in the center and then just like every valve uh, you have some sort of uh, bushings or packing that keeps the media back from blowing out the top. You normally wouldn't see those because those are compressed inside the casting. So that's a little bit about the parts and pieces. Applications for butterflies. Again, if you think large pipes, large flow, um, they're generally on larger equipment for cooling and heating water. You can see in these various pictures, things like a boiler, or chillers, of course, some cooling tower isolation. Maybe you have a three-way butterfly valve on a chiller and you can either mix or divert water to, let's say, a heat exchanger like you see in this picture here. And of course, you have uh, different cooling coils, even though um, traditionally coils might be a little smaller. So large air handling unit coils, you might find a butterfly valve. Uh, and then some newer type of applications that are out there like district heating or cooling, uh, maybe, ice storage where they make ice and then use the cold water as they melt it. So again, all these would be ideal applications for butterfly valves. A little bit about control. 
When we talk about control on valves, we're always searching for, let's say, an equal percentage curve. You see the curve on a coil or such, and it has this nice sweeping angle, and we're looking for a valve that basically mimics that or mirrors that, and you'll have this nice equal percentage curve and get a nice linear control. So some would argue that, hey, a butterfly valve is not really meant for control. And when you actually look at the data on some of the curves, you can see here in this chart, this is a V-ball and a globe valve, which are traditionally for control valves. And then you can also see in this top chart, this is the curve on a butterfly valve. And we can see here, there's quite a nice curve up to about maybe 70 degrees. And then after that, it's a straight shot, the valve's wide open. So this is why you'll find in a lot of our literature that we publish the CV at a 60 and 90 degrees. Because if you are going to use a butterfly for control, we would recommend between zero and 60 degree mark, the CV in there, that's the sweet spot. And if you're going to be doing on off, uh, either line size or you use the 90 degree CV. So with all that being said, these are our three basic families uh, of our butterfly suite at Belimo. You have our resilient seat valves. Again, we're talking about the rubber in here is the seat. The resilient seat, our HD and L, our grooved series, which based on its name, you can see its characteristic is groove. And of course, our SHP, our high performance valves. As far as our nomenclature goes, the part numbers are a valve plus actuator, which is very common on all of our valves at Belimo. In this case, the butterflies start with an F butterfly and six and seven that tell you that it's a flange six is for two-way the next part of the number gives you the dn size and then what's special or what series that particular valve is then you have your actuator in this case it's a pr series up voltage floating point it is a terminal block and it's a very specific this actuator is very specific to the eight inch so that's how you would get to know our part numbers and order valve assemblies. We sell butterfly valves that are three-way. They have to be ordered in a specific configuration. You can see here in some of the charts that are also in our catalog, when ordering a three-way, we essentially are taking two two-way valves and mounting it to a T. And you would need to let us know based on how you want your valves made if you needed an X10, 20, or 30. Now take note, the HD and L series are can, can be used for mixing or diverting, and our high performance series, uh, they are flow specific because they're a higher pressure valve. They need to be made either in mixing or diverting. Now, if they were ordered incorrectly, you could change them in the field. It's a little time consuming, but it is possible. Another consideration is the velocity. So the HD and L series valves have a 12 feet per second max velocity. So if you were ordering this valve, you would take your gallons per minute, come over into the chart, which is also in our catalog, and take a look and see what is the max velocity that six inch, let's say, could handle. The Vitalik series can do up to 20 feet per second, and the high performance they're rated up to 32 feet per second. So much faster moving water. Now we'll go a little bit as far as the features and benefits for each one of these uh, valve series. Our standard HD and L series, they come in two through 20 inch, both two way and three way. So they can be configured different ways. They are a traditional butterfly valve used for hot and cold water. Uh, some glycol they can do up to 250 degree water and standard is the disc and shaft are both stainless steel so just some little things to remember they are a 232 psi body pressure and just about all of them have about a 200 psi close off pressure that would be for the and the l series the l series 
is our newest butterfly that works hand in hand with the PR. It is from eight to 12 inch, again, both two way and three way. From there, we have our Vic series. So it would be something of a part number F6 dot 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 Vic. They are made by Vitalik company. Um, they are grooved valve. You can, you can see in the picture, some of their features are a 300 PSI body pressure. Again, they can do 20 feet per second. They can do the 250 degree media, hot and cold water. And some of their close off pressures, again, are about 200 PSI. Um, but what's really their claim to fame, which is a nice feature, is the groove. So you can see here in some of our OEMs, or if there is a uh, size constraint, they do not require a welded on flange. They simply come together with groove piping and some couplers, and you're able to seal off that valve very rapidly. They're also uh, much lighter, so as far as hangers go. So you can see here, there's some savings to be made either in time or even weight to be saved when using a grooved valve. Uh, on the flip side, obviously there's a more expense and upfront cost. From there, we move into our high performance valves. Again, these are from two to 20 inch, both two way and three way. And now what makes these special is the high performance casting and seat. They have a reinforced Teflon seat. So with that being said, because the seat is Teflon, they're rated up to 400 degrees F. They are a true ANSI 150 or one uh, 300 series. We have both. You can see the close up pressures. Some of them are up to 600 PSI. They can handle 32 feet per second as far as the water. They're also rated for 50 PSI inlet steam, and they're able to be used for dead end service. And that's mostly because of the design and also the double offset shaft. So another uh, really high end type of valve for hot water, high pressure, et cetera. Or maybe you need it for your high rise or a spec. Definitely um, more and more in some of the metro areas, some of the larger buildings are requiring high performance valves written in the spec. So Belima offers those. Maybe you have a building that's higher than 200 PSI or hot, hotter than 250 degree water. That would be the other place you would use these valve. Again, with more advantages comes a little bit more cost. Some specialty butterflies we offer are portable water valves. That's a new line to us. Uh, Two-way only lug style uh, from two to six inch. Uh, they come with a couple different actuator choices. They have an aluminum bronze disc. And because of that, that's why they're rated for portable water. They're NSF rated, and they also have CRN certificate. On the right-hand side, you can see a wafer valve. This is a, another small product line we offer, three through 12 inch valves, two way only, uh, some actuator choices. And again, they are a, a wafer style, so they still need some sort of a flange, but not nearly as many bolts. And again, this is really just for our Latin American market. Good to know as far as, uh, do you need an actuator or a handle? We do offer some of our valve series with just handles. So if you're looking for some isolation valves, we do offer those. Now, moving into the actuation portion, of course, every butterfly valve does require an actuator unless you're using a handle. And we have a full suite of actuators, whether it's a uh, fail safe or electronic capacitor in our fail safe options, which you can see in the top row, or a non fail actuator, which would be again power loss, stops where it is. Uh, we have just about every one of these flavors in NEMA 2 and NEMA 4. Uh, once again, all the actuator choices, many of them come in 24, 120 volts. Every one of them are a brushless DC motor, manual override. Again, fast running, slow running, there's cable options or no cable options. So we have just about every type of actuator you could use for your application and it can be mounted on a butterfly valve. Now we're gonna move into our PR, which is our latest and greatest actuator designed specifically for the HVAC market. And these are some of its highlights. 
we took a look at what a actuator would need for a butterfly valve specifically and we looked at things like its weight its height how much electricity it uses so we built things like a smart heater that turn on only when necessary variable run times it uses much less electricity than some of our competitor actuators uh, flexible indicator which is this little orange indicator here that you can see from quite a ways universal power uh, intelligent self-adjusting end stops so as the valve wears the actuator would push a little bit further into the rubber and ensure that um, 200 psi close off we'll talk a little bit about some of its communication features also in the next couple slides as i mentioned previously communication now to your actuator is a uh, becoming a more and more important topic and years ago you would have a laptop with a cable and you could attach it to your actuator and check things like runtime and do some different features change the signal etc this is also still valid today on many of our actuators but again with the pr we're trying to take it a step further the pr has nfc capabilities which is near field communication where you take your cell phone and you literally touch the actuator and you can do some different features again like changing signal runtime some troubleshooting some trending the PR also has advanced communications along with analog inputs to use for 2 to 10. It is BACnet MSTP and BTL certified. Also has Modbus. So as we move into the future with IoT, these are some of the different technologies you could use to hook up your butterfly actuator. A little bit about resources we have. Uh, if you were to direct yourself to our website belimo.us in the butterfly section you would see some things like this presentation our technical data flyers on the different product series videos uh, instruction sheets and important to know now with select pro you can do all your butterfly size and selection right there on your computer or online we have some flyers and case studies and even some youtube videos everything you need to know about butterflies and where to use them Last but not least, if you are in the market for butterflies and budget constraints or even downtime won't allow you to go new, why not retrofit? Keep the valve in place, remove the actuator, or maybe you're automating a system, remove the handle and put a butterfly actuator in a linkage. We have many stock and custom solutions and put them right on the valve, whether it's a uh, Bray, Nibco, Centerline, etc. We have solutions that can mount right to the, the valve and get you back up and running. As far as everything I mentioned in this presentation, service and delivery, we try and keep uh, a full load of valve stock, both in our Danbury on the East Coast and Sparks, Nevada on the West Coast facility. You can see some of the sizes we stock, 2 through 24 and 2 through 12 in Sparks. We really try and hold true to our three to four day delivery time on most of the sizes and valves and of course shipping from uh, the east and west coast both locations also will have tech support and customer service for your needs in summary delivery and service electronic fail safe options up to 12 inch grooved and specialty products retrofit offerings advanced communications all backed by a five-year warranty we really feel this is what sets us apart and offers that value to the marketplace for butterfly valves as warren buffett once said price is what you pay value is what you get this is joseph car care i want to thank you for your time if you require more information please contact your local belimo office with any inquiries and quotation for butterfly valves in your future HVAC needs.